Yeah, man! Hello, my name is Miguel, and today I'm gonna make for you starchy boiled hard food. So, you're gonna need some bananas, green bananas, yam, pumpkin, and you know, you have others that we can use too as well. Accompaniment. And then I'm gonna make a list. Put to heat a saucepan, add water, two between three cups or so. Put the stove's gauge on high. You know, get the water boiling. Once it comes to a boil, we're gonna add. Now I'm gonna peel our green bananas. There are other foods that we can use. You have Irish potato, sweet potato, drip about a tablespoon of oil in the palm of your hand and kind of rub it around. We do that to prevent the sticking because these starchy foods, they kind of give off a starchy stain. The banana and the yam. You have white yam, yellow yam. They have a specific name for them. I'm not so sure right now. Alright, so take the banana, do as you see me doing, and cut the tips and then make a line, like a mark in between on the side, alongside the side of the banana. Do as you see me doing, peel the green bananas. And then I scrape it at the end just to get off any green green skin that's that's still on the banana. So just to be clear, I use a knife and I cut each end of the banana and then I use a knife and about one eight inch on the tip of the knife I just cut within the banana slightly turning it at a degree This is the pumpkin seed. You can use the pumpkin seed. As for the pumpkin, do as you see me doing and cut. You see the skin of the pumpkin is good. Do as you see me do, I'm scrape the skin slightly. If before you cut the big pumpkin, if you could wash the pumpkin properly, that would be better. I'm 
trying to think in my head the other starchy food that we often eat. You have the sheen. Some people boil green, um, like almost young breadfruit, but not young, but near to fit breadfruit. I'm gonna rinse the pumpkin. The pumpkin is the only thing I'm gonna rinse. We don't really wash yam, and I don't really wash the bananas either. And if you were doing Irish, you would rinse the Irish sweet pepper sweet potato it don't necessarily need rinsing but wash the skin properly before you peel it and now I'm gonna peel the yam this is yellow yam drip about a tablespoon of oil in the palm of your hand and kind of rub it around make sure when you go to the market make sure you get nice firm produce A lot of people have a problem with the yam, you know, because when they go in the supermarket, especially the foreigners in America, they have to import yam from foreign countries. So oftentimes when you go in the market in America, grocery, they can't really cut, 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 cut off the yam because it's, 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 it's their money going down. So you can easily just pinch it, just pinch the skin, and then you can see if it's fresh or not. But in those cold country, I'm sure it's not gonna spoil quick. Do as you see me doing. Peel the yam properly and then cut the yam in big chunks. Big as the palm of your hand. See the stain? And to it's best to peel any of these food when you're just about to cook. Peel any of these food when you're just about to cook. It's not wise to peel and let it sit. You see this banana, you see this yam, you see it's getting red? It's because it's the, the here, the oxygen is, is exposed to the oxygen, so it's, it's healing the yam in some sense. The yam now, it takes a little bit longer to cook. Add the yam first, once the water comes to a boil. I'm not gonna add the pumpkin as yet. We're gonna allow the yam to cook for, for a few minutes before we add the pumpkin. Use the pan's lid and cover the pan slightly open. Add a tablespoon of salt, sea salt. You can cover the pot. If we were cooking dumpling now, you would slightly open it, but watch it. I'm going to show you how I prepare the pumpkin seed. For drying. You see when drying you don't necessarily have to put it in the sun just keep it in somewhere warm or dry. So what I do now is just put the seeds in some water and just let the seed float on the top and then I just take it off and place it on a paper towel. In my case, I'm just using um, typing paper. So 
you see how easy this is. So all you have to do. See, I want to show you how easy it is to just take the the nut out. You just use your fingernails and just kind of, kind of, kind of trim the side off, and then you take this nut out. It's as easy as as this, and that's what you want. This is a pumpkin seed nut. It tastes just like peanut, you know. All right, you see the little groove around the nut, around the seed. You just use your finger and just trim, just kind of break that part off, and then the nut will come off easy. After four minutes, stove gauges on six, medium high. You just add the pumpkin. You can cut the pumpkin. For one, the pumpkin side is about the size of your palm. But you can cut it half. Say if you had kids, say if you had children, you can cut it smaller. Add the pumpkin and use the pan's lid, cover the pan and allow. Stove's gauge is on six, medium high. At 10 minutes now, the stove's gauge is on six, medium high. You just add the bananas. You see with these starchy boiled hard food you don't want to cook them long because you'll cook out the nutrients so you just want to cook it enough so that you can eat it so it's been 15 minutes you see the yam starchy boiled food is good for your joints no not starchy boiled food like yam banana no not yam not banana yam um Irish, sweet potato, those type of food is good for your joints. Now it's 20 minutes and this is what it looks like. Just want to use a cooking spoon and kind of look at your food, kind of fold it over, stir, stir it in somewhat. Look to see where it's going. To test if it's ready, oftentimes we just use a fork and just kind of poke in it to see how far it goes. If it goes through, it's ready. like this cover your pot and allow 25 minutes since we added the first food which was it's finished just turn your stove off Cover it until serving. To serve, all you have to do is just use a big spoon. If you're gonna serve it like on a on a table, you can put all of this food in one big dish and just let just let your family choose what they want out. Or you can just serve it by placing placing the food on a plate as you see me doing I took two boiled green bananas lay them next to each other on the plate I put a piece of yam And then I just put a piece of pumpkin next to that. And 
this is Aki Aki stew a straight Aki stew This is starchy, boiled, art food accompaniment for any main dish like curry chicken. Today I'm serving it with Aki stew. Starchy, boiled, art food. Visit JamaicaDinners.com for the recipe. Subscribe, like, share. Cook this meal yourself and give us feedback. This is my Aki stew with starchy boiled art food. Pumpkin is soft and juicy, slightly sweet. Yam is, is a good way to get starch in your diet. Um, Alright guys, see you later. Bye. Yeah man!